you can see geometry everywhere in nature space art and architecture to name a few geometry was being applied and developed from ancient time at this time all the developments were passed on to the next generation without being discussed or proved do you know thales was the first mathematician who gave first known proof in geometry euclid a teacher of mathematics in egypt assembled almost all the known work of plane geometry and 3d geometry in one book elements it has been divided into 13 chapters each called a book elements contains almost everything which you can know about plane geometry sphere cone and other 3d figures that is why euclid is known as the father of geometry in this chapter you will study about euclid's approach to geometry let's start a journey of euclid's geometry through this chapter here you will study about euclid's definitions and relate them with real life terms which were left undefined and the reason for doing so meaning of the terms axiom postulate and theorem axioms and postulates and their applications for proving other results two equivalent versions of euclid's fifth postulate euclid's geometry covers a big part of what is studied in geometry at school level however in later grades non euclidean geometry will be your focus studying geometry improves many foundation skills like logical reasoning analytical reasoning and problem solving skills etc especially in the fields like robotic engineering or sea archaeology a good understanding of geometry is crucial